Hi, it's Susan at Hastings Cottage trying to stay warm. It's been really cold here in Southern California. All the mountains are covered with snow. Um, but I'm going to do a flip through of my newest junk journal. It's uh, a smaller one. It's, uh, let's see, six and a half by five inches. I built it on a file folder that I cut down. It's two signatures, but I managed to stitch them both into a single set of holes, which I was really quite pleased that it worked because there was a natural fold on the file folder, so I didn't really have the option of having a wider spine. Uh, it's covered with some ephemera that I have, some lace, and just other things that I wanted to uh, use to make it look old. I'm calling it Grandma's Cedar Chest. It's inspired by my mom's cedar chest. Uh, she was nearly a hundred when she passed away and my oldest daughter now has the cedar chest, but there were always all sorts of treasures in there, which are still there. Uh, anyway, here's the flip through. There's some ephemera that I have quite a stockpile of that made a little flip up using a hinge with covered with lace. This is a photo collage I created using some old ephemera and other things. There's a pocket. And another pocket. That's another photo collage that I made. And a little insurance card. Coffee dyed book page. I put lots of quotes throughout that are expressions that were commonplace back in the Victorian era. There's another little pocket. All of these pictures are from the ephemera uh, collection that I have. Um, this is covered with some netting to make it look older. Little tiny notepad. It's stitched together with some fabric into this little pocket. The Phoenix Insurance Company of Brooklyn. This is a belly band made out of fabric that was uh, dyed with wine, red wine, actually. That was kind of fun. <laughs> There's a card. That's a patchwork that I stitched a bunch of uh, old, uh, I can't remember not canvas, anyway, some old fabric strips onto. And there's a couple of cards to do some journaling. There's some more netting over this uh, photo collage. Just love these adorable old vintage photos. That's the center of the first signature. Here's a side pocket with a card. And some beautiful lace that's stitched on. love the way that one turned out. That also has the netting over it. And that's another photo collage. It's an envelope that I did with uh, coffee dye and or coffee and then some uh, ink that I dribbled on it. 
that's just into, made into a little notepad, hand stitched on the top. And that makes another little pocket, another cute picture. I really love this one. It looks just like the old time bank books. Corner pocket. I love the way that one looks. She's so pretty. Makes another pocket up there. There's some lace and netting stitched on. Little spots for doing some notes or journaling. That's to the lovers of a good cup of coffee. I'm sure there's plenty of us that are in that category. There's a sheet of paper that folds out. Little tuck spot, some Dupiani silk. Some more pretty lace and a, another little notepad made into a booklet. There's a tiny little tuck spot, and that's the smallest little notepad I've ever made. <laughs> it just, I needed something small to fit in that little spot right there. And on the back side, there's more things tucked in, another notepad. That's an echo die or eco die um, piece of paper that is so soft. I just love the way that turned out. Most of the sheets that I made did not turn out very well, but I like the way that one actually shows the, the design of the leaves and it's just really soft. Uh, there's another envelope with some lace on it and another little notebook, some fabric in there, another little tuck spot. And another spot. the center of the second signature. It's a photo of a house, a Victorian house that I took near downtown Los Angeles in an area where there are several Victorian homes still left standing. I was quite thrilled with being able to find those. This is a little bag that I folded up so there's lots of little spots to put things in there. sheet of paper that folds out. And another pocket with a card in it. And inside the back cover is my, I signed and dated it. I saw online that somebody else suggested doing that, so I thought I would too. And this holds the string on that wraps around the book. 
And that's my grandma's cedar chest. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.